my name is HW. Thank you so much for watching Toe Jigga TV. My dudes, today we are going to talk about what I think is probably the most simple and maybe the most useful EQ in the Helix. I've started putting it at the, at the kind of the end of all the Tone Junkie patches because it's just so great, actually. It's so simple. I'm going to show you it right here. Here it is right here. Boom. There's the software. I'm on the, uh, I'm on the, uh, the litigator and it sounds, sounds beautiful. <laughs> Just very responsive, I like that. Um, I had this tone match to the ODS-183 on the rock setting. That's a, that's a cool amp. Uh, the 183 ODS, it, mine's a replica of uh, ODS number 183. It's the only overdrive special that was made with EL-34, so I'm led to believe. But this is what we want to talk about today. It's the Tilt EQ. It's so simple. We can set it flat, bright, or dark. So you go one way, it's brighter. You go the other way, it's darker. We've got the center control, uh, the center frequency, which is where the tilt happens. I'm going to leave that at 1K for right now. I'm going to show you a couple other settings and how to use this in a couple locations. And level, I'm going to leave it alone. But check it out. Um, let's say I'm on the neck of this strap. My tone sounds like this. Let's say I just want to brighten that up. It's at the end of my chain. It's after the amp. It's after the IR or the cab. Um, I've got a tiny, tiny bit, a little, little boost on the low, low end here, just because I want that, that, that bigger feel. And then I've got a little bit coming down, three and a half k up. So I'm shelving a little bit of top end, just a bit, um, just by one and a half decibels. I mean, I could even take that off if I really want. But I'm just gonna leave it right there. You heard my sound, and now here it is, a little brighter. <laughs> That's my tone. And that's just a little brighter. Now, now it's a little brighter. Throw that on the bridge here, bridge humbucker, we get rid of a lot of that mid-range, or rather we take out some of that mid-range emphasis, and now we're giving ourselves a real slope DQ where we're taking away some low end and adding some higher end, and we can get something more like a more authoritative Telecaster. Here is the tilt off. <laughs> turn that tilt on. That is, uh, uh, in my opinion, um, a really nice usable sound. Um, I can come up here in the in-between position. Actually, see, I'm using the two position, the four position, excuse me, on my on my guitar because here I've got a humbucker. So when I come back here, I've got my humbucker and my single coil. But let's say I want to get this position, which is on the traditional strat, would be a middle and uh, just the bridge pickup. Well, I can actually come up here to my two position, brighten it up, and it no longer sounds like to me the neck and middle, which sound like this. <laughs> I can just brighten it up and it sounds like I have the middle and bridge. It just sounds good all the time. Now, I can do one more thing with this tilty cute. Wait, let me show you to you darker. I can darken this thing up, throw it on the neck here. Darkening this up would really be a little more helpful on a brighter guitar. So let me get one of those. That is, uh, you know, you just love the Kerrang. 
That's what I call it, the Kerrang of a good Telecaster, you know? Now we're gonna put on dark at about 23. We're just gonna roll back about a quarter and we're gonna listen to this telly darken up a little bit and uh, maybe sound a little bit thicker. <laughs> If you want it brighter, you could do that the other way and really get a thick sound, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, a thin, thin sound, and you can get this sort of thing. Maybe give it more of a 60s vibe when it's bright like that, you know what I mean? But the other thing you can do is this, is you know, I'm changing the sound of the whole rig when I leave the tilt EQ here because I'm after the amp section and I'm after the IR and I'm after even this high and low shelf EQ that I've put on where I'm boosting a little bit of bass to give me some nice low end. And I'm also shelving a little bit of these highs. I can bring that up if I want. But if I change the location here of this tilt EQ, I've still got it making it brighter, but let me come down here. Let me bring it over here. Now I can view this tilt EQ as more editing the guitar because it's editing the sound of this guitar even before it hits the compressor, which I've got a little compressor, a deluxe comp right here, even before it hits the amp and even before it hits the IR. So what I can do is uh, play my guitar clean for you, or not clean, but um, unaffected. And then I can brighten it up and really get this telly to sound like a 60s thinner kind of. brighten that telly up. I mean, it's real, real articulate. You get a lot of that, you know, that, um, maybe you want that to cut through a mix. It can be very useful. It really can give yourself one of those things, but I can also darken it up, throw it on the bridge like I am right now, make this telly thicker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's a real articulate. That's a beautiful, real sound there. And of course, you turn that off and you lose a little bit of that low end. course come in here and experiment you can you can play around with all this you can um, you can bring you can just like really you can use this tilt EQ to just cut out some of like um, uh, I mean you can make the guitar sound silly like sorry that wasn't silly at all I'm just adding stuff really in the low end um, I meant to actually come way down here Silly, that's like a thick. That's a 
beautiful thickness, man. Listen to that without it, dude. I mean, that's great. You can really just focus on those low frequencies. I like that. That's a beautiful, beautiful kind of thing. I'm gonna come up here to the neck. It's probably gonna be too dark, maybe. But it could be like a very warm kind of. That could be nice. I also can just brighten that up and I can even do it like a little boost, right? Let's say I wanna uh, come up here Give it one of these guys and just really put a high-end emphasis on uh, on this thing and treat it like a little boost. Um, let me give myself a little like two decibel boost here. How about two dB boost? I'm gonna turn that off. Sounds like this. Beautiful sound on the neck, but I'm gonna turn on this little boost, brighten it up, and you're gonna get this out of the neck pickup, which is really nice. A lot of clarity adds a lot. Some beautiful stuff. That is some beautiful stuff. I think this is a really useful EQ. You can try it in a couple of places, but for me, the sweet spots are after the amp to sort of shape the overall amp tone or right in the front there because um, with and without it, I mean, I can give myself a nice little boost. Check out this neck sound. But I can also come over here and turn that on. Really, really brighten it up if I want to get a redonkulous sort of. Uh, I'm an HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Jiggy TV. HW, out.